Well, back to our st top story now. Sudan's Information Minister Ahmed Bilal Osman joins us live now from Khartoum. Thank you for being with us. Uh, what evidence do you have, first of all, that Israel was behind this attack? Uh, in fact, actually, this is not the first time. This is maybe the fourth time. Israel have attacked uh, three times in uh, uh, the Red Sea, uh, some of our citizens twice, and some of the uh, caravan take some people. They're saying that they are taking arms to Gaza, and they, didn't, they kept silent first, and after some time they confessed. And now, actually, uh, the, 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 the type of uh, planes which attack uh, the, the, the factory were highly uh, technologized and they actually disguised the, the radar system and they, uh, so the people have seen it by their eyes. There are four, four planes coming from the east and uh, we have no enemy other than Israel. Plus we have actually from the shells which we have already, we didn't actually say that last night because we want to make sure about our evidences and now our uh, uh, people here have made sure that it's quite it's from Israel, from uh, the, what they have left in the site of the, the, the place which have been attacked. Well, you, you mentioned in your answer that uh, you think Israel has been responsible for, for previous uh, attacks uh, in Sudan. Uh, why, why would they want to attack this particular location, do you think, if that's the case? Yes, it's, it, it actually the Israelians said that in the, uh, their um, Minister of Defense two years ago, they said that Sudan is uh, a, a potential danger to Israel. It has to be fragmented, they have to support the rebels, and they have to be uh, fragmented to five countries, what they have seen, what they have said. And they actually are supporting every man or everyone from Sudan uh, wants to oppose or want to take arm and are supplying these rebels all this time. They was have seen and now I think they think that this uh, factory uh, supplies our army with all what needs from the weapons and these things and by attacking it they are going to weaken the government and to make uh, easier for the rebels to take over. Plus they also uh, they are accusing Sudan that these uh, arms uh, find their way to Hamas. And all these actually just allegations uh, which are not correct. On, on what basis do you say that they're, they're not correct? They've made this accusation uh, before in the past. So what, why do you say they're wrong? They actually, uh, how we could reach Hamas? Uh, this is uh, only if we go through Egypt. We have no direct borders with, with, with Hamas to, to take these arms there. This is one thing. The other thing, the, the, this factory is uh, manufacturing ordinary uh, legal weapons, which any country can uh, have. And uh, it is not a secret to be in, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, mass destruction weapons or something like that. It's just a normal, ordinary, legal arms uh, and uh, because of that, it is uh, not hidden air anywhere. All right. Well, you, and, uh, sorry, we sorry, are, sorry to interrupt. Uh, so you, you talked, we've talked a lot about the possible motives that Israel uh, uh, may have for, for, for wanting to attack this insulation. But what uh, concrete evidence, what, what physical evidence can you present that Israel was behind this particular attack? In fact, the type of rockets which we have now, and uh, some of them did not explode, and uh, we have the codes, uh, we have seen the planes directly, and uh, this is uh, recorded, and uh, all these evidences we are going to take and uh, to the uh, International Security Council, and we will show it to all the uh, delegations of the diplomatic court here in Sudan and in plus that uh, we, we have to reply because this is too much this is the first time they have done this we, we have our our right uh, to attack uh, the interest of Israel wherever this is a legal target for us from now on you earlier told a news conference and I'm quoting you here you said we reserve the right to react at a place 
and a time that we choose. What exactly did you mean by that? Is that what you were you referring to? I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't go in details for that. I wouldn't go for details for that. And uh, in fact, they know wh wh what we can do. Uh, definitely, we are not going to attack Israel there. But we we we, we have the means. We have to, the means of how we can reply. They killed our people. This is are not cheap, and are not cheap. And uh, we we know we can uh, how 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 to retaliate. All right, Ahmed Bilal Osman, Sudan's Information Minister, thank you very much for your time.